All right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel, the Regal Gentleman Studios. Today we've got Louis in the chair. How are you, mate? I'm good, thank you. You're how good? Are you? I'm very well, thank you, mate. So, what are we doing? What's the plan today? Yeah, so I've got quite thick, bulky Asian hair. Okay. And uh, I got an undercut recently. Right. So, I think just getting that balance sorted on the sides, um, just hacking it down, I'm happy to go as short as you want. Okay. Um, and then the length on top, I want to keep the, some sort of a fringe because my hairline's not so even. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, and then just ha have it like I can just style it up or down, just like a shorter fringe, messy fringe. Right, okay. okay. Um, so you want the option to have the fringe up or down, yeah? Yeah. Right, okay. I think that's going to be quite difficult. Uh, it's going to have to be very short, only because if you look at the width of your hairline mm. to the lowest point, see your eyebrows? It's like that long. Yeah. So if you want to wear your fringe down, it's got to be cut that short. Because everything else at the minute looks as though it's been cut. That looks like it's the longest point here. Mm. And then it's very short at the fringe, which will kind of stop you from wearing it up. Because right. of all the weight behind the fringe will push it down. Yeah. So do you, do you want to go short on the top to the point where you can do that? Or would you prefer to kind of keep that little bit of wave in it and wear it off your face instead? Um, I think the wave was Yeah, like yeah. I was going to say, because I think having your fringe too short might not work. For, the, for both styles, that's my only worry. Yeah, no. All right. Okay, um, so what we can do, we can take off as much as we can to try and keep some of the wave in, maybe about there. And then obviously we'll probably have to just kind of go through the top and see what's happened with there, because the crown, that bit of your crown looks so short. Yeah, it is. Um, did you do it yourself or? No, I went to no? the barber and I think they just sort of like pulled it back and then they cut the crown to make it sit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Interesting. Um, all right, cool. Yeah, I think I think it's a bit of work in progress, unfortunately. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna, it's gonna work first time round. I hope it will, but my only concern is because you've got such short bits of the crown here, like, if you look at that bit there, like that whole section's like that long, and then the whole section's like, almost like three or four times the size of it, which brings everything to the, to the, the front. But I think if we get the balance right, it should be okay. Okay. It should work. What do you want to do with the back and sides? How short do you want to go? What are you thinking? Up to you, to be honest. Whatever you think would be best. Um, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you, what would you prefer? Because I, I, it, it would work on anything. So it just depends on how short you're willing to go. Um, I think I'm down to try a skin fade, maybe. Skin fade? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. And then take the corner. Okay. Yeah. Take this through here. Okay. Yeah. It'll work. You sure? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, okay. All right. Well, let's get your gown up and then uh, we'll get started. All right. Sounds good. Right, guys. So I'm going to start on the top with Louise because um, I really need to cut the shape in because obviously back inside skin fade, you know, we don't need to really worry too much about what we're doing there because we're taking it right off. But what we need, do need to worry about is how much length we leave through the corners here to match. Um, but I want to get the fringe right um, only because I, I just think we can make it look perfect for him. Um, take away all this kind of kind of dryness at the ends, probably the colour as well. Probably got something to do with, it, with a bit of colour there. But what we'll do, try and I'm not gonna cut anything off the crown, as you can see, it's very short. It's probably shorter than mine, to be honest, at the back there, compared to how long your fringe is. So what we'll do, we'll we'll leave that as alone as we can, and we'll just try and get to a nice length that it's all gonna work for you, and we can connect it in as well. Alright? So maybe I'll just take about that much off, I think. Because as you can see, that's just very dry. It's like it's been, you can see where that's been thinned out mm. too much, which it's a, it's a good thing to do when you've got really thick hair, but it's, it's easier ways and better ways to do it than just to thin it out in a straight line.
go is our first section cut through the middle and we can see the fringe a bit shorter and then it's a bit more balanced now so when we start to connect in the top into the sides it'll start to really balance out now Just bring this back to the recession point, like that, maybe on line with the side bin. Straight out, there's a guy from the top. We'll cut this nice and straight. To start to match up from the middle section over to the left hand side. What's the circle then? How long ago was it? You got, you got I that? think it was about two months ago. Was it? Cool. I think you've left it just the right amount of time, you know. Mm. So I think if it was any shorter, I think we'd have struggled to, maybe not with the skin fade, but I think we would have struggled for the crown to sit flat. Mm. Um, did you notice it sticking up at all, the crown? Yeah. Yeah. I saw photos from the back. Oh, okay, yeah. graduate this horizontally through the top because again you want to work down or up so I'll make sure it sits nice down and also sits nice kind of working across as well and we'll do put the length in Just sitting nice now. So what we'll do is we'll texturize it to thin out, but more than just kind of chopping away at it, we'll pick the places and the areas to thin out and to add that texture. So we'll pick it up just through near the back, through the middle, just slide through it. There we go. And just wear that through the front to break that up a little bit to make that curl a little bit easier for him as well. So just kind of work the razor through the tip of the fringe. I'll show you again in a second. We're just having that little bit of lift halfway through. As you can see, 
stands up nicely and just through the top you kind of thin away them ends so that way it starts to really add that curl to the front you want to work into the fringe as well right so i'm going to add in a little bit of clay to dry this in now i want to set this style before i start doing my skin fade because i just want to see how it's going to dry with that little bit of kind of forced kale in it because i think it was curling because of the color i think as it was dry it was more curling so what i've done a bit of clay like so i'm going to use a round brush to create that kind of wave in the hair okay right so maybe i want to show you what to do so again i want this to be achievable i hope so i want, I want these to accentuate the, the kind of curl at the front so i want you to just try it off normally with your fingers so put your brush in your other hand that your hand you're holding the hairdryer and from the crown work it in clockwise motion and then just work it from the crown to the front okay like so and don't forget the back and sides will be short so you won't have to worry too much about them Turn the speed down, keep the heat on. With a brush, put it from the top, roll it, turn it, and just twist it like that. And what you'll create is a little bit of bend in there. You can also do it like this as well. If you slide it in, and you twist it around the brush, like that, twist it so you're basically creating like a, a sort of spiral. Do that. What you'll create is more of a tail in the front. So it won't be as straight as everywhere else, if you want to do that. So that's why if you put a styling product in to start with, it keeps the hole better, okay? So how's that length on top for you, mate? Yeah. No yeah? Way. Happy with that, yeah? yeah? So there's lots of texture in there. So now what we'll do, we'll work on the skin fade. So you'll see that texture come out a lot more once, once we get that cut in there as well. So looking on the sides of where we want this blend to be, we need that kind of angle to blend it out at. Okay? Because that's what's going to give that angle into the jaw from the cheekbones. So you've got slightly diamond-shaped face, quite square as well, mm. um, just with the cheekbones. See how far they come out there. So the angle it through. So we need to work up and off, okay? Not that it means anything to you, but what that means to anyone watching is we need to keep some weight through the corners, through here, just a little bit to kind of bring them um, bring them sides in to create that more leanness through the face for Louis, all right? Start from the back and side on my number two. I'm just putting it to two and a half. And work up and off, like so. Two now, so we roll that length. You're definitely going to feel the cold tonight, Louis, mate. <laughs> yeah. You will feel that breeze on the back of your neck. Oh.
I'm gonna blend this in now. So starting at the back, I'm gonna work from the crown. Again, we tried to isolate the crown because it was cut so short. I'm gonna try and leave some outlines in there as well. So hopefully today, it might not be a work in progress. Actually, now we're going down to skin. I think that's gonna work really nicely, to be honest. Use our line now. Do you want to do with the, uh, the detailing around the side bends and the temple? Do you want it quite sharp or do you want it more natural? Yeah. Sharp, yeah? Let's take it off through first, and then size one comb. Open blade, and I'm stretch this blend right out. So 0.5. Like so. I want this to be nice and harsh. Still work up with that kind of shape of its style that's standing out towards the top. Obviously in a nice shape too.
If my 0.5, I can put into my 2. Really stretch this blend out. And just work through the lever just to get down to zero, like so. Right, one guard on, choosing this just to go over this area here. What's quite nice as well, turn it around and work down just to cap off any of them little hairs that be standing out. And just work the layer darker areas. into the blend a little bit as well. It's just cut into that. Does that look for you, mate? Yeah, that looks good. Happy, yeah? Cool, man. Now, what will I use to style this? I think I will use a little bit of matte paste. So it's a label M matte paste, okay? I think it's got a nice little bit of um, kind of, it says it's matte, but I think it's got a, a touch of like a natural shine to it. So I'll put a little bit of that in for you. So again, you don't need an awful lot. I always tend to just use like, say, a pea size amount, so about that much, right. okay? And make it through into your hands. Make sure the space is all over. You can have a tendency to sort of clump up, so make sure you rub it all over. There we go. Start at the back. Work into the front. Scrunch the front up a little bit like that. And make it into that blend as well. Okay. Like 
what you're left with is that kind of shape. Like that. So you've got that nice little kind of curl in the, in the fringe like that. And obviously all that texture sitting through the back with a nice stretch blend, which looks really harsh, but works really well with the shape that we're going for. How's that? Yeah, I think you've worked a little bit Thanks, man. I tried. Looks good though, man. So I sit around there with that, so. No, that's awesome. Cheers. Happy, yeah? Yeah. No, Thanks, man.